Okay, so this is what we're doing. It's called a pin tap. Joining me right now is Brittany Gibbons, and she is my Laverne and Shirley sorter of Pinterest, I would say, yes. right? We're the yes. Laverne and Shirley of Pinterest. You're the Laverne and Shirley And of um, Brittany has a great website, curvygirl.com, and she also has Brittany herself, right? Mm -hmm. Those are your two main. Yeah, curvygirlguide.com. Curvygirlguide.com. Yep. Okay, so uh, the deal is we see stuff. On, I'm a big fan of Pinterest. You're a big fan of Pinterest. Yes. But I look at Pinterest and, and don't actually do things. Right. I'm really good at pinning things on Pinterest. Right. Clickety click click and you're done. I'm not so good on the follow through. So. Uh, me neither. So I want to show you a picture of the things that we both kind of want to do for Pinterest. My inspiration or pinspiration is um, a pan. There's a before and after picture we're going to show that shows see before after. The after is a clean almost gorgeous looking pan. And the way to get this, according to Pinterest, is to make a solution. I'm going to make it. I'm going to start doing my thing, and then you're going to show yours in a minute. So my thing, do you have pans like this at your house? No, because I, th I throw them away. Right, I do like too. I don't it's even clean the them. least PC thing, environmentally <laughs> unfriendly thing. I'm like, I can't scrub this anymore. <laughs> Hit the garbage. So this is a quarter cup of baking soda, all right? And then it says, according to Pinterest, that you've just put... This is peroxide, which is why I have this apron on, but peroxide has always been very good to me. <laughs> so you put it in with your baking soda and make a paste. And this is supposed to be what cleans these pans. So I'm gonna give it a try, a little bit more peroxide, and um, but I'm gonna need some time to scrub. So let me, does that look like a paste to you? Not quite, no, right? it's a little powdery. A little powdery, so we'll put a little bit more in of the peroxide. Plenty of leftover to do my roots, but if you look at root cam here, hello root cam, my roots are perfectly fine right now, so it'll be a few weeks yet. <laughs> All right, so we're almost into paste form. I'm really excited about this because I right. I buy cookie sheets on the regular because I'm I'm always I try to line them with foil, but I'm yeah. often out of foil. So well, that's what that's what like uh, they recommend you should always line them with foil and then right. you never have to clean them again I'm for that all right now I'm feeling paste dish right that, that seems like more a like a paste okay so the worst pan in the world that I have is this one and it is a muffin tin because I do I'm so I'm a muffin maker so we're gonna put this on here Put a little bit there, and I'm going to start So does it scrubbing. sit at all, or? No, I don't think so. You're supposed to use it to scrub. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going everywhere. It's not pasty enough. All right, so I'm going to work on this pan with my paste, and you are going to show me okay, so what you I got. I tackled something less abrasive. Um, <laughs> Mine's a violent much craft. Much like all my other pin crafts, I am totally inspired by being able to rid my husband's closet of old, smelly college t-shirts and this craft enables me to do that once again. Okay, so let's so, take a look. I think we've got yeah. a picture of your craft. Let's see your craft. Okay, so this is what we're going for, so, right? Yeah, basically it's this. It's a cute little taking your your old kind of ratty used t-shirts and cutting them to something that's a little more trendy and fit, um, wearing it over like a tight cami, you know, for sport events or concerts or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I decided to try and tackle this um, in a very no so type of situation. Right, because we know that you're not a big sewer. You no. can sew or no? No, I, I'm, I, no, I can't no, sew. No, no sew. So I decided to tackle this with just scissors, some liquid stitch, which I got at a craft store, which liquid apparently stitch. is like sewing in a bottle. And do you use pen. it if you cut yourself as well? <laughs> you can use it for surgery or <laughs> fixing hems. That's so perfect. off the bat, I just cut the arms off and cut the top off. Okay. So you're left with just kind of this square. All right, you can move yours more to the center, and okay. I'm going to move mine over. So you so, put yours right there. This is so easy. So all I did was I folded over just a little hem mm -hmm. and squirted it on some liquid stitch. It said to hold for 24 hours, but I only did it for eight, and it seems to be holding up just fine. You're kidding me. No. And then you're going to take and cut just a strip really quick of this leftover fabric off. Okay. Easy, you getting that, easy, people? Easy, 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 easy. I'm not even measuring. That's how easy yeah. this craft is. That's what I need. Not measuring. Yeah. Did your husband know? I mean, is this no. his favorite T-shirt we're destroying? He will know when this runs. <laughs> Look, honey, your TV T-shirt. I'm making it more wearable. No, he okay. wouldn't wear this. So then I just kind of put the safety pin in, so it's easy to feed through. 
mm -hmm. into that hem that I created. Right. And I feed it through the whole shirt. And what it's just going to do is make this really cute cinched neckline, which I don't know if you see on Pinterest a lot of times, those people make those pillowcase dresses for little girls. Yeah. It's basically a cooler adult pillowcase dress. Ooh. Yeah. So you're just going it's through a little, cute. did you put a pin mm -hmm. or anything on the end? No. Okay. A safety pin, just so just it's easier pin? to feed through. Yeah, that's, that is the key, by the way. It's the to only every... sewing knowledge every time to like from anything. <laughs> so then you would just do it to the other side too. So you're just gonna pretty much make a circle. Uh-huh. This is probably the easiest Pinterest craft that I've not had. That didn't go Either bad. With everybody food poisoning or we, we previously not be able to wear everywhere, which is sort of my MO with Pinterest. We previously um, tried to make the t-shirt on the top, elastic waist at the middle, skirt on the bottom dressed, which you've seen all over Pinterest, and it was an ugly mess, right? Just, I can't even bring it in. Really? I just can't. So I can't have my name associated, associated with that with garment. That, with that monstrosity. Yeah, you know, um, this isn't working so good, I'm just saying. Oh, you're having a pin fail. So far, I'm saying that this is a pin fail. I'm not seeing, there's way too much scrubbing going on with my process here. I mean, it's supposed to make it easier, I think, and right. then when it doesn't. So once you get it through, you just put it in. Uh-huh. And tie it, you can make a bow or what have you. Okay. And you're done. Whoa. Yes. Yeah, so you have this really cute, I mean, obviously it's a women's shirt. Right now, if you give this to your husband, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> he's he'll wear be it. Disappointed. But so it's a really cute sort of like tank top to wear to concerts or barbecues. Um, it does shorten the shirt quite a bit, so remember that. Oh, that's a good idea. But <laughs> yeah. you know what? You a lot of times so, have shirts that are way too long. Right. So I oh I did this with a Toledo shirt to wear to a football game. A oh, nice. Football game. So I did it with this last night, just to make sure I wasn't gonna embarrass <laughs> myself on air. And I threw a navy cami underneath it. Yeah. Um, and it's actually really, really cute. It, it sort of shortens it up, makes it a little more fitted, and it's fun and feminine, and it's so a really cute So you've pin. got an actual cami underneath there. Yeah, so I put a, just a, a long cami underneath, and it's, it's actually really, really cute on. Yeah. I don't know if we can talk Derek into putting it on. Oh, maybe so. Break. Maybe um, so. <laughs> But it's really cute, and um, it was. It took probably the waiting for the instant liquid stitch to dry for eight hours was the longest part of this. You saw me just make it. It took about two minutes. Okay, so show that liquid stitch again. I really like that yes. idea because I got to so, rinse this pan off and see if I'm it looks not any different. Sewing. I, I usually like default to my mom to do that. So I went and bought some liquid stitch just from a craft store. Mm -hmm. I, um, it dries clear. It. it kind of takes 24 hours. Like I said, I've only had these in eight and it's holding perfectly well, so. Wow, that yeah. actually is a kind so of good pin. You would do this pin again. You would repin it I to your I would do wall. it again, I would. This is a repin. This is a repin and I think it's cute. Don't I do too, cute? I actually do. And I think I have a lot of too long t-shirts so I think that's a it really good idea. It shortens it up quite a bit. I was gonna cut the bottom off and I put it on and I'm like, oh no, this is. No, because I would never tuck a t-shirt in. Yeah. I mean, I did in the no, 80s. No, it kind of sits right at your waistline ago. and it's really, really cute. Okay. And, and so super easy, two minute, two minute pin. That is a two minute, I think that's a pin win. Okay, mine, let's take a look. I'm gonna put this underneath here, and I've been scrubbing and scrubbing. So what do you think? I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it sort of looks like that picture? There's the ugly side, it looks and there's the better. Pan. It looks better, but I'm not sure. I will be honest, I would still throw the pan away. Would you throw that pan away still? Yeah, let's see the before and after pic. That's what it looks like on Pinterest. And this is after a fair amount of scrubbing. I think if I would have just scrubbed it, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It's better, but maybe if I'd have just cleaned it right after I got it out of the pan, I wouldn't have had to go through this whole thing. Hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say Brittany's t-shirt redo is a yeah. pin win. Pin I win. would definitely pin win, repin that sucker. Repin that. And this is a lot of work for if you just scrub. So I'm going to go with this as a pin fail. It doesn't work like it shows it's on little, Pinterest. It's a little labor intensive. Right. Scrubbing works. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we're going to do a steam bake, a kind of fresh flip on steam bake. Stay with us. 